All right. Good morning, Manny. Good, I'm, good morning. I'm, re I'm recording. So um, I'll just provide a little bit of history and you uh, correct me or uh, uh, add to it if uh, you need to. You have uh, off and on had a tracheostomy tube placed for tracheal stenosis, uh, but uh, this current tracheostomy tube you've now had for about 14 months um, because, uh, for tracheal stenosis. And you originally were using a passing mirror speaking valve with your tracheostomy tube until they determined that the trach was likely to be longer term. They yes. changed it to a Montgomery tracheostomy tube and you're now using their um, either finger uh, occlusion, uh, their open position speaking valve, or you're capping all together right. uh, when you can tolerate it. And uh, you were referred to me uh, several weeks ago because of some concerns regarding your swallowing safety and in particular uh, some aspiration risk. And so you have been um, using some compensatory strategies when you uh, drink and eat to protect your airway, but you've also been um, doing some exercise. And I'll have you demonstrate that and talk a little bit about, give me some feedback uh, in terms of your own experience with that. Okay, so anything you want to add to the history? Not really. Okay. I'm just, I can prove quite a bit since, okay. uh, you know, this last, last four weeks. Okay. So one of the things that you have uh, done kind of by way of an exercise as well as a compensatory strategy is it sort of an effortful swallow with a breath hold. So I'll kind of give you the instruction you can demonstrate. And so the uh, instruction typically is to take a deep breath, fill your lungs. And you're going to probably want to use a finger occlusion just so that you have even uh, so you don't have any leaking of air uh, when you're uh, doing your swallow. Okay, so take a big breath, fill your lungs. While holding your breath, swallow hard, uh, just your saliva first, once, and then release the breath through rounded lips. Now, a lot of people find it difficult to do too many repetitions of this if they don't have something in their mouth. So on the next time, uh, and I know you have a, a dry mouth, so uh, the next time, I'll give you the instruction again, but why don't you go ahead and use a water sip so that you have something to swallow. Okay, so take a deep breath. Uh, hold the breath in your lungs and take a sip. Swallow hard once, twice if you can, and release the breath. Good, and let's do it one more time. So while holding your breath and taking a sip, hold your breath, swallow hard once, twice if you can, and release the breath. And uh, one of the other strategies you have been using uh, that you have felt ha has some benefit uh, is a chin, uh, uh, yes, postural I'm turn. Kind of, I'm kind of, uh, Turn my chin a little bit right to, to towards right, your right shoulder. To my right shoulder okay, and, and you find that helps as well. Yes, I find that this secretion, I mean, uh, uh, expression wasn't in the trach. Okay, um, all right, good. So another uh, exercise that you've been doing is a, a glide to a, a high falsetto. Uh, in an effort to help lift your larynx closer mm -hmm. to the structures above to protect your airway. So why don't you do uh, that a few times? <coughs> <coughs> Great, that's one. Do it again. <coughs> Try to reach the highest note that you can. Do one more. Great, okay. Why don't you uh, go ahead, take a sip, hold your breath, take a sip, swallow hard once, uh, twice if you can, and then release the breath through purse lips. Have you noticed an overall 
uh, lessening of your coughing and choking when oh, you're yes, eating? Oh, yes, much, much less, yes. Okay, great. Yes, I'm, I'm swallowing much, much better than before. Great, okay. So one other exercise that you're doing is um, a tongue um, exercise to try to help lift the base or the very bottom portion of your tongue. And, and by doing that, also sort of lifting your larynx again for better airway protection. and. So uh, why don't you go ahead and demonstrate that All a couple right. times? <laughs> this <laughs> one's a tricky one. <laughs> it's a little difficult for me, okay. but I'm gonna try it. Good. Okay, so Good. I'll just, I'll again just kind of give the instruction as uh, you you have heard it and read it, and that is usually I tell you to anchor your tongue tip behind your lower teeth. Uh, and you want to feel the humped part of your tongue really press against the roof of your mouth. You want to squeeze it for a couple of seconds and then release. And in doing that, it's going to give you a sound that's going to sound like a, a, a hard press. So press and hold two seconds and release. Good. And press and hold two seconds and release. And it's a little hard uh, because of your tracheostomy, but yeah. lots of times I'll tell people to just place a finger on the front of their larynx. They can often feel that movement and their larynx yeah. being lifted up because their tongue is, yeah, okay. tongue base I, I is helping. Cannot, cannot, but it's a little hard to do, yeah. Okay, and so uh, again, anchor your tip of your tongue behind your lower teeth. Press the hump part of your tongue up against the roof of your mouth. Press and hold, two, three, and release. Yeah. And one more time, press and hold and release. Yeah. Great, okay. All right, Manny, and then finally, uh, and perhaps most importantly for you, I'm gonna have you uh, demonstrate using the breather, but also just talk a little bit, give me some feedback in terms of what you've noticed. And um, just hold it up for a second for the camera. So the breather is an inspiratory, expiratory, respiratory muscle strength trainer. Uh, you have been using it since the onset of treatment now, about three weeks ago. And um, the rationale for using that that we talked about was to strengthen the respiratory muscle so you had better cough power, that you could clear stuff out of your lungs, especially anything that might have gotten misdirected. Um, but you've noticed since you've been doing it, you, each visit you kind of report something that you notice um, from using it. So share with me a little bit what you're noticing and then I'll have you demonstrate it. And well, I have noticed a uh, big improvement in my breathing. Okay. And my voice is much clearer than it was before. You, you've mentioned that you ha feel like you have more volume. Yes, yes uh -huh. I do. And I don't get as hoarse as I used to. Uh huh. Uh, and I know you mentioned uh, last week you just felt your overall endurance. Oh um, yes, oh yes, I'm, I'm able to do uh, in more and more endurance of my exercises. Okay, and and like I'm able to ride the stationary bike now uh -huh. and without for five minutes, five minutes. Great. Before I was out of breath okay. within a minute. Great, and you mentioned. Um, and you do have some underlying pulmonary uh, disease, oh, yes, as yes. I recall. Oh yes, COPD. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, uh, Seen right, and you mentioned that you used to be a walker. I know you have some back problems that have interfered with that, but that also you were having some problems with endurance. And yes. you've mentioned to me that um, one of the other things you've noticed is that you've been able to cap your tracheostomy tube, meaning do all of your breathing in and out through your upper airway yes, yes. Uh, and tolerate it for longer periods of time without oh, getting yes, yes. winded or short of breath. Um, okay, why don't you demonstrate it a few times and then you might think of some other uh, things that you've noticed. Okay, and again, uh, usually you use um, finger occlusion or cap so that you are breathing yes. in through your upper airway, right? Otherwise, you'd be breathing in through the trach. I trach. can put the cap on if you want. Um, that's okay if you're uh -huh. okay with that. All right, so you're going to take a big breath in. Exhale vigorously, blow, 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 blow. Feel your abdominal muscles contract. Take a big breath in. Blow vigorously, good. Actually, I'm gonna pause and let you go ahead and put your cane in. So sometimes these things pops out. It pops out, right, especially with a vigorous cough. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, but you now have your cap in, so all of your breathing is through your uh, upper and lower airway. How, how long are you um, typically able to be capped, have your tracheostomy tube fully capped? Sometimes I have it for a couple hours. Sometimes. Okay, so that just is variable. You notice that I'm changing my voice? Yeah. 
Yeah. I think they're going to have a horse for this. Well, um, it, you may perceive it as hoarseness. It's, it's, again, you have a narrow space above the trachea, too, so you're probably feeling that resistance to airflow. And, of course, always uh, you're going to use your, you're going to do that to the extent that you can tolerate it. If you're only capping for limited periods of time during the day, I would recommend do it during meals because having a closed system when you're eating would be the most um, efficient in terms of swallow function. Okay, so I, go ahead. Did you? I used the cabin when I used this. Yep, yeah, and definitely when you use the breather, right. So you don't need to occlude. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, will it pop out? Okay. If you feel that you can't exhale as vigorously unless you occlude, that's fine. Blow, blow, blow. Feel your abdominal muscles contract. Great. Nice and slow. Exhale. Big breath in. Hold it for a second. Exhale vigorously. Good. Okay. You can stop for a second. So again, um, we talked about the, the benefit of the breather in terms of cough effort and pulmonary uh, clearance of secretions, um, better breath support for your voice, and better coordination or timing of breathing and swallowing. So do you notice, since you've been using um, the, uh, or doing the exercises for the last three weeks, that you have a stronger cough, cough effort? Oh, yes, yes I do. Yeah. And when you are fully capped, um, are you able to expectorate secretions out your mouth like normal? Okay. Okay, good. All right, so anything else you want to add that you can, um, again, just sort of your own reflection on what you've been doing? Because I know every week you sort of share something you've observed as uh, seeming better. Well, I just want to say thank you, Mary, for for making such an improvement on me. Oh, well, you're welcome, yeah. Manny. I think the goal was to have you be able to eat safely, and oh, yes, that seems yes. to be happening. So, um, you well, as you can see, I've been eating. <laughs> I'll have to pan out to capture that. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank okay. You. Nice. Okay.